Hi, today's video will be talking about the corner radius splice procedure. Please refer to Service Bulletin 7137 for details. Determine where you're going to section your post and remove the bulkhead or scuff liner. I try not to go more than a third. If I'm going more than not even three feet, you know, then you might as well do the whole thing. I mean, if you start getting into a half a post, you might as well do the whole thing. Okay, just, just follow your tape. After removing the damaged piece, go ahead and take your measurements or use the damaged piece to compare to the new section that you're going to cut. We'll use the old piece to measure out the one we're going to cut. And in these next few slides, what you'll see here is the bottom corner of the trailer and the new radius piece. Well, it has the lip on it, so we have to measure out that lip and cut it off. Now that the lip has been cut off on the radius, you can tuck it behind that front piece there that's going to be bolted on. Go ahead and clamp the top and the bottom of the radius section, and then you can go ahead and bolt it into place. We'll use the old piece to measure out the one we're going to cut so they can get butted against each other and they will make the plate to bucket. Here's what it looks like inside after bolting together. Now that you have your rivets installed, a rule of thumb is every couple inches around that radius. After that, you can install the rivets along the side on the panel of the radius. Here on this trailer, we didn't have the front panel in yet, but you would have to install the panel, drill the holes, and then install the front panel. But here's what the overall finished product is going to look like after sicaflexing the area of the strip on the inside as well as along the outside to give it that finished look. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your training team.